What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE Ultimate Edition review on the WWE Ultimate Edition Series 15 Ultimate Warrior figure. Now, this is our third installment of Ultimate Warrior in the Ultimate Edition line. He was way back in Series number one. He was one of the fan takeover Amazon exclusives, and now he is here in the Ultimate Edition line once again. Certainly won't be the last, I guarantee it. But we have Ultimate Warrior right here, man, on the other side of Brock Lesnar, which we did review yesterday. If you guys missed that, definitely go grab that review and check it out very impressed by that figure hopefully i'm just as impressed by this one right here but we're going to dive into it of course if you guys would like to grab this figure or brock lesnar you can do so over at ringside collectibles using promo code mdtoys to save yourselves 10 percent but here's the front viewing window solid looking warrior a look that we have seen before in the wwe mattel wave we have seen it before way back in the defining moments line we saw this figure or this attire before and now we are getting it yet again here trying to avoid the glares but you guys can see there in the packaging ultimate warrior across the top you have the wwe ultimate edition logo down here mattel logo here on the side image of warrior got the wwe logo again name on the side there another great shot of the figure you have ultimate warrior a shot of the warrior himself some bio read and then you have a little information shot down here if you'd like to read it you can pause that now on this side, it says WWE Ultimate Edition, Ultimate Warrior, and that pretty much wraps up our standard WWE Ultimate Edition packaging. You guys know that in the main Ultimate Edition line, it's just your white box with red trim, usually how they go. Ultimate articulation for authentic posability. Ultimate articulation, I guess if you're de deeming it ultimate because this is the Ultimate Edition line, then maybe. I don't know about ultimate posability, at least from an ab crunch perspective, but let's crack the Ultimate Warrior out, find out what he's about and see what these details are like. So here's the Ultimate Warrior out of his packaging, and I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. I do have my gripes, though. I definitely have my gripes about the figure, which we are going to get into, of course, but I'm already liking this one a lot. I like how colorful it is. It's very toyetic, as Ultimate Warrior is. The duster looks nice. I, I like everything that I got going on, but of course, we will not know the main things about this figure unless we dive into the details, break down everything you're going to get with this figure when you purchase the Ultimate Edition Series 15 Ultimate Warrior. What would the Ultimate Edition line be without Ultimate Warrior? Probably a lot better. Nah. That's just jokes, but seriously. All right, man, so getting into Ultimate Warrior's accessories, getting into it here, you get, I mean, it's not like an, an A-ton, you know? It's not like you're getting just an immaculate amount of accessories. I think a championship belt would have really thrown it over the top, I think. I just think, you know, just to wrap it up in a nice bow. But let's get into the cloth goods first. We do have the, the entrance duster or whatever you want to call it here. Very nice. You know, I don't have the OG defining moment, so I can't, I can't compare them, and I hate that, but I, I probably should have done that before the review, but... I didn't really anticipate it, kind of just showed up out of nowhere, but it does say Ultimate Warrior right there, and you can get in here and get in on all these details, man. It looks really good. Like, all the print looks good. It feels nice. It is that same, like, faux leather sort of material here. You got your masks in here and your logos. Nice, you know, dry brushed looking stuff on here. Maybe a bit too vibrant as far as that's concerned. Or it doesn't look like airbrushing, but it still looks really good. You got Macho Man and Ultimate Warrior there with the flames. You got the Ultimate Warrior logo again. You do have the color on there. You guys kind of already saw what it looks like on the figure there but it looks nice you know I, I like it i like cloth goods it is a redo from the defining moments but it does seem that this figure is, is doing pretty well for me so far we also have the shoulder pads deal where it goes over the top it is made of a rubber material you know it's not like super hard or anything but it does have the fringe coming off ultimate warrior it does also have some more details going on right here i think it's very nicely done with all the colors and, and the artwork that's going on here very very cool blue and yellow strands very nice to say the least i like it man i, th I think you got some good stuff going on with this you know if this was cloth i don't think it would really hold up very much so this works for me outside of that we have two head sculpts here and i'm gonna be real with you man i, I don't really care for these head sculpts they are basically making like that same like goofy kind of expression and the details just i don't know man i'm just i'm just not feeling it you know i think there's better ultimate warrior head sculpts and these aren't i guess terrible like it is like kind of like the wet hair look and like his face paint's washed off and we're gonna see what this head sculpt looks like on other ultimate warrior figures just to give you guys an idea maybe you want to do that fix up but i don't know i'm just not really feeling it. i'm not even the biggest warrior fan so maybe that's why but i just i'm not a big fan of it you guys can let me know down below i just think it's like kind of goofy looking he kind of looks like the man on the wing from twilight zone that's kind of what it, it vibes it's giving me here but pretty much the same face with different hair sculpts but you know uh maybe other people like it but i'm just not a fan of it it just it just looks a bit odd to me however outside of that we get interchangeable hands of course with our ultimate editions you have the mic holding hands you have your gorilla press throne sitting clasping sort of 
hands here for Ultimate Warrior. And then you gotta have your pointer fingers. So you do have the pointer fingers there and the nice Ultimate Warrior skin tone. They look pretty good. And that's all your accessories. I know, kind of wild. But I mean, I guess technically you do have like your arm bands that are removable and like the operational. We'll get into it. Just, let's get into the figure itself. All right, guys. So getting into the head sculpt and the Ultimate Warrior itself, I had a moment like setting up the camera right here, man. Like I was getting it in position and then I looked into the camera at this face right here. And I just, this is an Ultimate Edition. And I just think this just looks bonkers. Am I, am I insane? Maybe I'm just overdoing it. But I, I've, I just think I've seen way better Ultimate Warrior head sculpts. This is an Ultimate Edition. I just think it misses the mark. And I don't know. It kind of had me fired up for a second. And then I rethought it. I tried to get myself together. And it's all good. However, I don't know. I think uh, probably putting the, the Defining Moments head on this figure is probably going to be the best option. I think it'll look the best, to be real with you. I just think it will. You know, I don't know what you're thinking. But that's that's what I'm thinking. Anyways, here's the head sculpt on here. It looks okay as far as, like, your, you know, your scaling and kind of your... Yeah, I, and no, it actually looks good as far as, like, your aesthetics go. You know, it doesn't sit too low, too high. I think it's in the in the money zone. You got the Ultimate Warrior torso. Very nice bicep bands going on. Pink, yellow, black looks great. Black, white, and yellow over here looks good. The pinless double-jointed arms look nice. Love the MDT sort of zebra printy white, black, and pink going on on the gauntlets over here. Got the purple and yellow here, and then the pink and orange over there. Very cool tights. The airbrush tights with Ultimate Warrior Macho King there. Looking very, very cool. Very nice details. You have the same little fritters on the side right there that we saw in the Survivor Series Elite. I'm sure that happened before then, but that's just what you got. On the back, it says, means much more than this. You got the championship in the middle. You got kind of like a starburst pattern there. Regular Ultimate Warrior legs that we've seen multiple times before, but they have been retooled, which we'll get into in a moment. But on the right knee pad, you do have Ultimate Warrior that looks cool, and he also has the adjustable bands here for if you want to do running poses. You can like port these in and out. Don't want to take it out because it took me a minute to get back in, but there's the Macho King there, or Macho Man. You got him going on there. You got the yellow white. Very clean deco on this guy, but the black. The pink and white boots look good. You got the toe pivot in there and the boot rotation. I mean, the figure has a lot of details going on with it, and that's something that I do love about it. I just think the head sculpt really misses it. But at the same time, I'm, I'm enjoying the figure. I like the figure. I just don't like the abs on the Ultimate Editions as far as the ab crunch goes. I just don't like it. And then this head sculpt, man. I'm not really feeling it. But let's get into some Ultimate Warrior figure comparisons and see exactly how this guy compares and, and what we look like here. Maybe we'll do some head swaps. Let's, let's shut the hell up and get into it. So for your Ultimate Warrior Ultimate Edition comparisons, you have the Ultimate Edition 15 in the middle. You have the Ultimate Edition 1 and then you have the Fan Takeover. And these are very different when you look at them because this one has pins. This one was kind of rickety. I didn't really care for the first version, to be honest with you. It's like very loosey-goosey kind of. And I don't know. I just wasn't ever a, a really big fan of it. I like the gear. I just, I don't know what, about the tooling and things of that nature, but here's all three of them next to each other. We have two Ultimate Edition Ultimate Warriors that are just re-releases of previous Ultimate Warriors we've seen, so that's kind of bummy. But throwing in two more recent Elite Ultimate Warriors, you have the Survivor Series over here, and then you do have, I think it's what, WrestleMania 12 or something like that, Ultimate Warrior over here. I don't know, man. I just, I, I, I don't know. But uh, anyways, if you want to see what the other head sculpt looks like on here, here you go. You can pop that one on there and just kind of see what this looks like. I think that looks better to me than the face paint, to be honest with you. I just think it has a more natural look. I know a lot of people are going to want to buy this and then put this head onto multiple Ultimate Warriors that they have here. So you guys wanted to put that on the fan takeover. There's a shot of that and exactly what that looks like. You guys want to take this off, plop it over here onto the first Ultimate Edition. You can do so with that as well. So yeah, lots of options here. I mean, you, you get to make the decisions on your own collection there, but there's another shot of the warrior there, and then we can pop that off. I don't know if this even pops off. Does this pop off? Of course it doesn't. They use that old freaking body anyways. Survivor Series Elite, you can also do this. So you get tons of options, man. You really, really do. And yeah, look at that right there. That looks really clean. I actually like that a lot. So you have multiple directions that you can take the Ultimate Warrior, but that's all for his comparisons and getting a shot of the unpainted head on all these different bodies. Choose your own own version of Ultimate Warrior that you want, but this figure right here is so damn good, man. The Survivor Series Elite Warrior, mm, chef's kiss. But I think that pretty much wraps up our Ultimate Edition Warrior, Ultimate Edition Warrior. I guess it's the same thing. Who cares? But figure is very toyetic. I think the head sculpts are bummy, to be honest with you. I think that it is an upgrade from the first version. I don't even own the first version, but I can tell you it's definitely an upgrade. I think details, articulation, color palette, all the extras you get. Uh, outside of the head sculpt, I mean, I don't know what to say. You know, I'm just, I'm just not a big Ultimate Warrior fan, but I think the figure is solid. I'm just not big on the head sculpt, you know? I, I think that's pretty much what it comes down to. Gonna stand out on the shelf. If you're an Ultimate Warrior fan, you might like it. Sure you will.
well. I'm sure a lot of people want that sort of like post-match head sculpt that you get there. As you see it here, it's kind of playing Jane without, you know, the face makeup. I don't know. It's just always weird to see him without the face makeup, but he's still very toyetic regardless of the fact. But I would like to know what you guys think of this figure down in the comment section below. If you guys would like to grab this again, you can go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. But that is going to wrap up our review of Ultimate Warrior, man. Do you think Ultimate Edition 15 as a whole is great or do you think it's kind of bummy? Let me know down in the comments section below. And today's random shout-out is going to go to Musta Meow. I can't wait for the Ultimate Edition 16 AJ Styles. I'm begging my mom to buy me it and hopefully she does. Also, I love your videos. Keep it up. Appreciate it, brother. Hopefully you do get that Ultimate Edition AJ Styles. That is a figure that I am so excited for. So I am right there with you when uh, you're talking about, you know, getting that figure. So I'll tell you what, Musta Meow, show this to your mom and I'm just going to say Musta Meow's mom or whatever, whatever your name is or his name is or whatever your child's name is. Get them the AJ Styles and use promo code MDTOYS to save yourself 10% when shopping over there. So you get it at a little bit discount, you know, get your little discount in there. But hope you guys have a blessed day and you shout out to Musta Meow. Mom, go buy the AJ Styles. And if you don't... You cross